Good day to you. We've worked very hard to create this digestible message because it's concerning something that's very important and affects all of us, especially you. It's important that you listen and concentrate on my words, but choosing to do that is up to you. Before we begin, just a quick explanation of what will happen. In the corner of the screen, you'll see a little number pop up sometimes. This is a reference. At the end of the video, you can look in the description for the number and you'll find the source link backing up what I've said. I encourage you to investigate for yourself. Never believe everything you see. Sources aren't always reliable. What I'm about to tell you is more important than it ever has been before. If we don't talk about this, if we sit back, everything will change. We will lose our very freedom if we don't stand up. Every one of us. We're both here now because there is a small group of people who want total Tatarian control over both of us and everyone we know and love. They're doing this by monitoring our communications and silencing anyone who dares oppose them. If they're allowed to continue, they'll have their way. The National Security Agency is the largest American intelligence organization, and it has recently come out that they are monitoring all of our internet and phone communications. That includes email, video chat, phone calls, social networking, file transfers, photos, and much more. Any company that chooses to not violate their customer's privacy is legally destroyed. Their company dismantled and often face far-reaching consequences. They aren't even allowed to tell anyone. You may hear jokes about NSA employees having to sift through people's porn habits, but the thing is, they actually are very interested. The NSA have spied on those who encourage others to take action and use their porn habits to discredit them in the eyes of their followers. This type of spying and aggressive action doesn't just stop with the people they directly target. The UK government bullies journalists speaking up about the NSA by detaining them under terrorist laws and destroying expensive personal property. This causes a chilling effect, a well-documented social phenomenon where people are too afraid of future consequences to even attempt to go against the bullies in power. Terrorists, the government's boogeymen. You would have hoped that at least with all the horrific violations of human rights, the NSA would at least be able to stop what it says it needs billions of dollars for. Well, they might have thwarted at most one terrorist money transfer, so hopefully that will help you sleep better at night. Terrorism isn't the NSA's target. The NSA's target is you. The US government does not have your best interests in mind. This is the same government that funded Project MK Ultra for around 20 years. Using American and Canadian citizens as unknowing test subjects, they played with the minds of their victims through isolation, sexual abuse, torture, and various chemicals. Some experiments involved drugging people with LSD without warning, leading to one CIA operative to see monsters in every passing car. Another person fell into a deep depression and fell from a 13th story window. The experiments continued. Project Artichoke was another CIA operation that researched how to control people. They studied hypnosis, forced morphine addiction, forced withdrawal, and a variety of other chemicals to induce amnesia and manipulate its victims. They asked the question, can we get control of an individual to the point where he will do our bidding against his will and even against fundamental laws of nature, such as self-preservation? There is no one alive who can be trusted with this insane amount of power. No one should be able to manipulate you like this, or your friends, or even your enemies. It goes against our fundamental rights as human beings. The NSA is treating everyone who isn't them as subhuman, including government officials all over the world. Right now, internet communication has grown to a point where amazing things are being achieved as you watch this. It's revolutionized education, politics, even farming in third world countries. We've never before had this high fidelity of communication spanning across the world. Technology has been increasing exponentially every year and humanity is achieving feats that were never before dreamed of. If the NSA isn't stopped now, it will continue to grow in power until the communication that brought us here is locked down. Children will be born into a world where this is seen as normal. Corruption will go unreported, people will be killed and no one will know. The free flow of information will slow to a crawl as people become too afraid to share innovative ideas. This has happened in the past, and it will happen again if we don't do something. When the NSA messes up, they cost human lives. They use automatic systems to act as the judge. 
jury, and executioner of innocent people. Without any oversight, the NSA doesn't even bother to have a human check if the victims are who they are targeting, leading to the deaths of many people by using drones. We're on a precipice, a turning point. Now that we know what the NSA is up to, if we choose to ignore it, they will only grow in power. If they know they can get away with this, when you know what they're doing, they'll never stop. Technology has never been stronger, but if we let anyone control the flow of information, it can go backwards, as this has happened many times throughout history. We have unparalleled communication that has never been seen before on this planet, and the NSA is a huge threat to that. We can accomplish so much more if we keep the internet free and open. Now it's time for you to make a personal choice. A choice that no one can make besides you. Now you know what is happening. You can either choose to ignore it, give in to a slowly decaying melancholy, or join the rest of us. There is so much that can be done, that needs to be done, that should be done, and has been done. Edward Snowden has already accomplished his mission. He's taken an incredible risk to bring to light the crimes of the NSA. Now we can work together, with the risk diluted amongst all of us in great numbers, to help keep freedom alive and bring humanity into a glorious age of technological and social enlightenment. Eons of segregated ideas and culture are finally being brought together, slowly merging the best ideas into a global culture and discarding the harmful ones. If you don't act, that could all be shut down. It is now or never. Do you really want them to have control over you and everyone you love? Join the growing amount of people who are putting forward the effort of keeping humanity alive. There is so much you can do, whether it's signing a petition, spreading the word, or protesting. Any effort on your part is added into the growing effort to help keep humanity healthy. The minimum you can do is share the information you have learned. People are interested in what you have to say. It affects them as much as you. If you have time, you could fill out the survey in the description of this video, so we can be more effective too. Information is power, and there is power in numbers.